Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about make Ubuntu look like Mac OS Ventura. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Mac OS Ventura is the latest version that got released. And in case if you want to make your Ubuntu look like Mac OS Ventura, make sure you have Genome 40 Plus desktop environment because it works better with that. Now, in order to make your Ubuntu look like Mac OS, you need to perform some of the prerequisites. And first one is you need to make sure that your system is updated and upgraded. So I'll write a command as sudo apt space update and it will check if there is any update in terms of my packages in my Ubuntu. In case if there is, we'll need to make sure that we upgrade all of those packages as well. We are done here with the update and there are 18 packages that can be upgraded. So I'll write here sudo space apt space upgrade and after that we just need to hit enter. Press y and hit enter once again and we are good to go. We are done here and now I'll install time shift into my Ubuntu. Why do we need time shift? Well, let's say we are making our Ubuntu look like Mac OS and let's say we get into some problem and with the help of time shift, we can revert back all the changes. To install time shift, command is sudo space apt space install space time shift. After that, you just need to hit enter. We are done with the installation and now let's launch it. So I'll just search for it. Here it is. I'll just open that one. I'll have my password enter and from here we can create system snapshot and we have two types rsync or btrfs i'll go with the rsync click on next and now it will estimate the system size now from here we need to select the snapshot location i'll just click on next because i'm okay with the default one from here we can select the snapshot levels i'm okay with this one as well so i'll just click on next these are the directories that i can include or exclude so i'll go with both of these i'll click on next and from here, I just need to click on this finish button. Now here we have a create button. I'll just click on it. And now it is creating a system snapshot. It will take a little bit of time. So let it get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are back with the system snapshot. And now it's time to download some of the utilities that are really necessary to help us in order to make our Ubuntu look like Mac OS Ventura. First of all, we need to download Genome Shell Extension Manager. Command for that is sudo space apt space install space genome hyphen shell hyphen extension hyphen manager and just hit enter press y and hit enter once again we are done with this one and now we need to download genome tweaks command for that is sudo space apt space install space genome hyphen tweaks and just hit enter we are done with this one as well and now let's launch both of these one by one this is the genome tweaks and it will help us to implement Mac OS theme, we can apply Mac OS fonts and we can do a lot of other things that we need to do in terms of Mac OS onto our Ubuntu with this particular tool. Other than that, if I open my extension manager, here it is. This will help us to download different extensions in our Ubuntu. At the moment, I'll just close this one. And now it's time to download our Mac OS theme for our Ubuntu. So for that purpose, I'll open my Mozilla Firefox and here I'll just search for Whitesur GTK theme, hit enter. Here we have many of these available. I'll go for the first one that is from the GitHub repository. I'll just click on it and from here, I'll just copy its link. So just click on this code button and copy this link. After that, I'll open my terminal once again. Here we need to download Git as well. Command for that is sudo space apt space install space git and hit enter. Press y, hit enter once again. We are done with the installation of our git. Let me clear my terminal and now let's go to our downloads directory because I want to download this theme into my downloads directory. So for that purpose, now I'll write here git clone. After that, I'll paste the link that I have copied from my GitHub hit enter and it is cloning into this particular repository. Let it get complete and if I go back to my GitHub, if I scroll down, here you will see that we have different instructions in order to install this particular theme. Here I have installation instruction and down here we have different flags that we can use in order to install different features of this particular theme. 
for example here we have light dark theme normal down here we have different other flags so make sure to go through this document and you will have all the information that you might need in order to install this particular theme because as you can see we have different accent color available in here you can choose any one of these and we have different notarial style you can change these as well we are done here with the download and now if i ls here here you can see we have white search gtk theme available let's go into that one here it is if i ls here here we have install.sh file we need to run this file and after that i'll use some of the flags along with this command so here i have written dot slash install dot sh which will run this particular bash file then we have a flag as hyphen m then hyphen t hyphen t will install all the accent color into our system then we have hyphen l hyphen capital n stable we'll make sure that default notalias file manager gets installed into our ubuntu then we have hyphen hyphen normal space hyphen hyphen round these two flags will make our application look better and they will be in round shape now just hit enter it will remove the old white shirt theme if there is any then it will install the latest one after we are done with this step we need to install one more file that is there with the name of tweaks.sh so let it get complete and then we'll move ahead we are done with the first one and now let's install the second one but for that we need to give sudo privileges so i'll write here sudo space dot slash tweak dot sh space and here i'll use a flag as hyphen g after that i'll just hit enter we are done with the installation and now it's time to download the icon themes pack for our ubuntu so let's go back to our mozilla firefox and here i'll search mac os ventura icons hit enter and let's see what do we get so here we have different results let's scroll down and here we have a file from the github repository let's just go to that one and from here either you can download this file directly you can copy this link and you can use git clone command or we have another option just click on this link that is from the pling.com i'll just click on this one and from here we'll download a file if you scroll down here you have different options for example if you just click on this file section here we have different files i'll just download the first one so let's just click on it and just download this other than that we have a github link from here as well so let's just wait for the process to get complete and then we'll extract this particular file we are done here with the download of our icons now let's go to our downloads directory and let's see what do we get as a result so here we have our icons i'll just right click on it and i'll click on extract to because i want to extract these icons into a particular folder go to your home directory and here just press ctrl h and it will show you all the hidden files and folders as well and in here i'll create a new one so just click on this plus folder icon button and name your folder as dot icon because again it will be a hidden folder hit enter this folder have been created and now just click on the select button and your files will be extracted into this particular folder here you can see the process has started we are done here and now let me just close this one let's minimize our mozilla firefox as well it's time to open our extension manager why is that so well let me just open that well as we are going to install and use some third party tools or you can say some third party themes icon packs for that purpose we need to make sure that we install user theme into our ubuntu because that will help us to install and use anything that is from the third party so i'll just go to my browse section and here i'll search for user themes here it is and let's just install this one just click on this install button and you are good to go we are done here let's just close this one and now let's open our genome tweak tool so i'll just search for tweaks and here it is i'll just open this one now go to your appearance section and in terms of your application just click on it and here you see we have different options available in terms of white sir you can click on any one of these as per your liking i'll go with this particular theme that says white sir dark blue just click on it and now we are left with the icons and if you remember we just extracted our icons into our icons folder onto our home directory so i'll just click on it scroll up and here we have ventura icons available so let's just click on it and we have successfully applied the ventura icons onto our ubuntu as you can see here as well so we are done with applying our icons as well let's just close this one and let's just close this one as well and now it's time to download some other extension as well so i'll just search for extension manager here it is the first extension that we need to install is called as blur my shell 
so let's just search for it here it is let's just install it well this particular extension will add a blurred look to your genome shell including your top panels dash and overview as you can see the detail in here other than that we need another extension that is called as compass lamp effect so i'll just search for it here it is i'll just install this one and i'll show it to you as well that how does it look like and how does it work let it get installed we are done here now if i minimize my application you can see we have an effect when we open or close any of our application and there is one more thing that we know that in mac os we have all these toolbars on the left side of our applications so let's just fix that so for that purpose i'll open my tweaks here it is let's open this one and from here go to your windows title bars and here it says title bars button i'll go for the left option and now all of these are on the left side and now it more look like mac operating system let's just close this one and now it's time to open our settings i'll just right click on my system and i'll go to my display settings or you can open your settings any other way and from here i look for dock go to your appearance section and here we have dock option scroll down and for the position of my dock i'll go for the bottom and i'll just remove my panel mode and here you can see now we do not have any panel onto our desktop and now we are left with one more thing and that is we need to download the background or you can say the wallpaper mac os ventura let me just close this one let me close my extension manager as well and let's go to our mozilla firefox here i'll just search for mac os ventura wallpaper and let's hit enter we have many of the options available you can download from any resource i'll go for the 4kwallpapers.com so i'll just open that one into a new tab let's scroll down and here you can see we have different other resources as well from here i'll just click on this download original and here the download process has just started go to your desktop and right click here and click on change background from here you can set anything as your desktop background but as we want to have the one for our mac os just click on this add picture button go to your downloads directly and here we have the one that we have just downloaded I'll just double click on it and this has been added into our dictionary or you can say into this particular collection. Now I'll just click on this one and this will be applied onto my background. And here you can see we have successfully applied it. Now let me just close this one. Let me close this one as well. And here you go. We have everything looking like Mac OS Ventura. We have icons like that. We have background like that. We have top bar like that as well. At the end, let's see how does it look like on the lock screen. So for that purpose, I'll just press super plus L key. Well, this is how it looks like on the lock screen. And this is exactly looking like Mac OS. Let's just unlock this one and we are done with everything. And that brings me to the end of this particular video. I hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one. And now you will try to make your Ubuntu look like Mac OS at least once. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.